up, 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 do, 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 do. we're t starting on the quest. Um, that's a hard, that's like the worst intro ever. Nice one, NTS, yes, that ice is exactly what I'm after. So in the last episode, we went and got ice blocks for Barbella. And so the point of doing that was so that we could make ice shots. And unfortunately, I'm not talking about the kind of shots that you drink. Oh, hey, she gets a free lava. That'll help. Uh, yeah. Well, we eventually will be using that for something, I'm sure. In the meantime, we got Crack Shot. Dragon Quest veterans might know that Crack is actually... Crack and Sizz are like Dragon Quest equivalents of Ice and Fire. All the spells are usually named as such. I'm gonna stick some of this stuff away that we picked up while we were out there. Yeah, we picked up a lot of petals and stuff for making healing items. So we're not exactly hard up for those right now. I got a pretty good supply of Chimera Wings here and healing if we should need it, but we're not really going to need what we're doing right now. Whoops, uh, excuse me, I was just trying to open the door. So over here, with our newfangled ice things, we can make crack shots. One batch of them is worth 20. Although I'm feeling more inclined to go for 40. So we're gonna want 40 of those. What is the recipe for these now? Oh, that's lava, yeah. Um, now all this time we've been seeing these monsters, these fire crabbers, and we haven't been able to really do anything about them. Well, now, now that we have magic weapons, most notably the sizz, or the crack shots that I just made, we can now bring those with us out here and we can use them to fight off the fire guys. And with that comes an added bonus of being able to get a drop from them that we couldn't normally get before because we couldn't kill them before. So here we go. Just gonna kind of come down here a little bit. Be a little careful here because they can be kind of hard to hit. Oh, this is kind of big. So, but yeah. I mean, it's usually only going to take one shot. I don't think it ever takes any more than one shot. When you kill them, they drop these little doodads here called flame orbs. Also, yeah, I aggroed the boss. I didn't mean to do that. No, oh, now I'm done aggro the Mr. Stone Sword guy over here, too. Oh, you know, sometimes things just aren't very good, you know? Sometimes life just likes to take a big steamy crap on you. There's not much you can really do about that, especially if you can't press the right button. We'll just keep running in circles here until we can get a clean shot on one of these guys. Uh, we're, gonna need, we're, gonna need, we're gonna need serious medical attention here, because epics erupting. Okay, that's that's good enough. Thank goodness for that iron armor. So back to the crack shot, so we can get this guy over here. These guys are actually kind of hard to hit. Um, you have to be oh, in just the right position. All right, there we go. Oh man, now we got two of them, really. This is getting out of hand. Now there are two of them. Alright, daytime, you can come any day now. Any night now, any day now. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Let me just get as far away from these as I can here. That was a good shot. We only need five of these things. It's not like we're going to be out here all night. But wait, we are. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, there it is. There's the last one. And we're done. Anyway, I got what I came for. This would have been a lot easier if I just would have waited two minutes to do it, but oh well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so now that, that quest is done, we need to talk to you. Alright, you built up any of them ice missile things you dreamt up? Yeah, I sure did, actually. I should have probably talked to you first. But anyway, you talk to her now, and now that you've built the ice missiles, and she'll say, oh, hey, now we need to go and get use them to kill some of the fire guys. She'll give us some free sis shots here. Just for the hell of it. So, uh... <laughs> let's see. Oh, the earlobe. I'd ask for another favor, bud. You're sketch the kind of thing I'm talking about. We just have to play something for me. Oh, okay, this is the thing where she wants us to build the... this weird blueprint for her. This could actually take a little while. I learned how to make a book. Jeez. Well, Barnes and Noble, eat your heart out. You're about to get stormed by my sails, let me tell you. Uh, I don't really have anything... I don't know if I want to build it right here. That's too close to the other buildings. We could build it right here, but usually I like to build the bar there. So I might just build it over here. This would be fine. Make it even with the other building. Let's go ahead and drag out some of the stuff that I'm going to need here, which includes earth. Well, let me just take a look first. Okay, so Earth, we're gonna need 47. Maybe we should do that first, then. 
Uh, do we need earth on the backside under that button? Yes, we do. Okay. Well, why don't we just do that first, get that out of the way, since that's the big thing here. Boom, ba bum ba bum ba bum ba bum ba bum and bum bum one right there, and then we'll start building the other wall like this. It's so much easier when you just hold the button down. I wish I figured that out sooner. I really do. But oh well. Okay, so first things first. Put the earth back away because we're done with it. We're going to need to make a button, but let me see what else we need to make for this thing. I know one of the things we need is a barrel, which we have plenty of those in the next room over. A wooden door we'll probably have to make. Lantern, so like we could take the welder's workbench that we already have button and a chest. Okay, this is not so bad. Alright, so let me go grab the barrel. Just grab a barrel here. It's one barrel. Simple enough. Uh, I'm hungry, aren't I? Let's see what we got in here to make. Still have some cactuses, unbelievably enough. That's all we can really do for now, but let's just get it out of the way so we can do this later. So, wooden door. That would be right about here. Okay, and she wants a chest in there as well, which that's up here, or, oh, no, it's not. If she wants a welder's workbench, would that be too out of the way? No, we can totally make that. Actually, I don't know, it's eight iron ingots? I don't know if I want to, I mean, I already have one here, you know, I should just take this one. We need a book, and we need bookcases as well. Uh, by making the book, though, you should be able to just make the bookcases. So three books to a batch, and then with that, we make bookcases, like so. That'll give us five of those. Well, it's amazing how one book becomes five bookcases. Don't ask me how that works. Let's get the chest here. And then I think we need the welder's workstation to make the button, so let's put that down here. This shouldn't take too long. I believe the barrel goes right there. Uh, let's see. Button, button. Who's got the button? Right there. What do we need for that? Spring, orange oil, iron ingot too. Okay, so that's not too bad. Well, makes three of them. Okay, <laughs> I mean three is fine. Now let's look at this a little more. So the bookcases are a little weird. Oh, the chest and the lantern. I forgot about the lantern. Shoot. Yeah, I'll get that in a second. I think I might have one of those on hand. Book, book, and book, book. And then, wait a minute. Did it take all three books to make the book station, or whatever? I thought I would have still had some books on me here. Now I'm short a couple flowers to actually make one of these. I mean, the thing is, though, those are really easy to get. Let me just show you. I mean, I don't even need to show you. You just go right in here, and right inside the teleporter, like, the first thing you're going to see in this area is those flowers. So, well, <laughs> I say that, and then look here, there's none to be found. Where are they? There's some down here, I see them. Okay, cool. Oh, take a little fall damage, whatever. Boy, who would have thought we'd be coming out here again? Even if it's just for this short period of time. You know what? While I'm here... Okay, this is going to sound a little weird, but... We're getting pretty close to the time where we're going to need this, so... I'm going to kill this yellow Draki here. Because he drops... Butter! And with butter, you can make ice cream, as well as something else that we're going to need pretty soon here. It's getting about that time, and I'm looking very much forward to it, after seeing how well it served us in Chapter 2. But yeah, that's just one less thing, one less trip we're going to have to make out here. I didn't even bother to unlock the Navi Globe, maybe I should have. Alright, there's our book. Well, shoot, you know what I was just, yeah, I know what I just realized. I had a book right there in the next room I could have gone and gotten. Just use that instead. Oh well. I mean, at least we got the butter, if nothing else, so... Uh, uh, oh. Alright, let's put away what we don't need here. Which includes the book, the buttons, the butter, the bookcase, this right here, and this right here that we just picked up. So, lantern. Let me go real quick and make the lantern. Uh, let's see. What do we need for that? glass, so it's a good thing I made that glass, just on the spur of the moment I did, but, uh, but yeah, I like the little animation for, like, welding stuff, too, it's really cool, just put the lantern there, and that does it, that does it, y'all, 
Sorry, it's made of earth. You know, we would think it'd be better than this, but whatever. So, hey, I'm not even going to let you check it out. I'm going to come take the credit first. Now you'll be able to study Galileo's notes in peace and come up with something. Why don't wipe that magnolis out? Oh, Really? Why do you get a job working for an inventor if I don't like inventing? <laughs> don't get the wrong idea. I don't like how the apprentice or nothing. No, we all know what was really going on there. Sometimes you just work at a bank because you happen to like the teller. That made no sense whatsoever. Anyway. Oh, this, okay. Yeah, yeah, there, there is this whole thing, isn't there? So she has another invention she wants us to make. Oh, no, wait, okay, first it's, oh, oh, first it's the fight, huh? Okay, sure, um, I guess we're doing it now. Ah, uh, where are they going to be spawning from? Probably over here. That's where they usually do. Hang on, let me see if I have... Oh, it's probably not the best time to eat that, but oh well. Yeah, 22 damn tough. Oh man, these guys are going to be coming in here. Oh, I don't want him racking me off screen here. He's going to start charging up at me. Oops. Oh, well, he did exactly that. <laughs> That's what I was kind of hoping he wouldn't. Boy, oh boy. Okay, let me just run away for a second here. Let's get in, line, get in safety here. Yeah, okay, one at a time here. Let's take them all out at once. Jeez, man. Alright. Yeah, you're almost dead. Well, actually, you're not. Actually, you are. I was looking at the wrong health meter. Yeah, but see, this helps so much when you have so many towns. People on your side, they're all just going in there. Monsters are defeated for the foreseeable future. Now we have seven. Oh, guess what? Um, we can't do these yet, can we? Well, we're gonna have to pull out those sizz shots, I guess. Or crack shots, rather. Alright, get out of my town, dude. You ain't gonna be part of this. Fortunately, I'm the only one who's going to be able to take care of these, so if I could actually hit one, that would be great. Let's get some more fire orbs here. Man, it's just like I'm firing them non-stop and nothing's happening. Well, I think the problem is that when they're trying to hit them and that zero damage appears, then it, like, over, like, it overrides the damage that I'm doing. The same as, like, sometimes when you hit monsters like this and you have several people hitting one. Not all of your damage registers, you know, so... Ooh, wow. There we go. Ha-ha. <laughs> wow. Gee, that was easier than I expected. Except for that first part, like, it started out so bad, and then all of a sudden... Yeah, we're winning. Ha-ha. <laughs> That's we're getting rid of them, but still, there's something wrong. Let's take a look at this blueprint. Oh, jeez. Okay, the bar. I didn't expect a way piston palisade. Oh, oh, this is not the bar. This is the piston thing. Here are some pictures that match. What? I didn't say anything. My phone just lit up and said, here are some pictures that match. <laughs> Apparently, my phone seems to think that I searched for bar. I didn't expect a white piston. No, I'm, I'm not talking to you right now. Holy crap. That's the first time he's done that, wow. I don't believe it. The Piston Palisade Blueprint, this is pretty much one of the most useful things. Useless, I mean. Useless things, I mean. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, so, man, these trees are out in the way, so I'm just gonna put this off here somewhere. Maybe over here, I don't know. Uh, right there is good. Now, if you look at this sucker, Purple flag zone, piston, and pressure plate. Well, we don't have the piston Honda yet now, do we? Let's get rid of these trees. Excuse me, I need to borrow your workbench station for a second here, because I'm going to make some piston Hondas. So two batches of these. We have just enough batteries to do it, so I'm going to need to make some more batteries pretty soon here. So where's that purple flag zone we gathered? It's up here. And then we need um, pressure plates. We need nine of those as well. So we're going to need to make a couple more. Let's do that now. While we're thinking about it. Oh, I'm back. Back for more. <laughs> oh, wow. Orange oil. Oh, crap. And here I thought I had all the orange oil I needed. Apparently I didn't. Fortunately, we don't have to go too far to get more. Seeing as how stuff is just right out here. 
Get over here. I need your orange oil. Need some from you too. And there we go. Man, I love it when the thing that you need is just right there, you know, two blocks from your house. Then you don't even have to drive. You can just walk over it. You can just walk over it. It's a pressure plate. Two, two. So we had two, we need nine. But you make three at a time. It's a little unfortunate. We're gonna end up with a few more than we need, but it's okay, maybe we'll just make it bigger than it needs to be. Alright, so purple flag zone goes like so. Oops, no, no, no. I don't know how to like hold the button down and make it so that it doesn't put them on top of each other though. Because I've done it before, but. Anyway. And then we need pistons, which will go up here. So it's already the second row, not a big deal. Finally, pressure plates, which will go right here. And there, it's done. Never have to use it again. But I guess the point of it is, like, to have something outside of your town that knocks back anything that runs into it. See how that pressure plate activates all the pistons nearby? Well, the problem is that it works on your villagers, too, not just on the monsters. So sometimes that causes problems, that's kind of why I put it out there, because it doesn't really... You know, you would think it would keep monsters out, but it's like, if there's monsters there, you're just going to have to fight them anyway. So it's not exactly helping anything, knocking them away from the town. I mean, it is, in some sense, but... But oh well, who cares? Alright, so... Let's put all that away, that's done. There's one more quest in the bag. Now we got one over here from Barbella, so... What you got for me? Ever since you made me that workroom, my research has been going great guns. I reckon I figured out the secret of making magical weapons. Seems it's all down to these things called power crystals. They're special stones you can use to store huge amounts of energy. Galileo's research records don't tell you exactly how to make them, but they do tell you what ingredients you So we've gotten flame orbs from the flame guys, but we haven't used the fire missiles, whatever you call them, to kill the ice guys yet. So that's what we're going to need to do right now. Once we've done that, we'll gain access to magic weapons, and then we can go for the Ring of Criticality, which I'm very much looking forward to. So, is there anything else, though, that I can do while I'm out there getting those? I don't actually think there is. I think we're just going to have to go for it. It is the middle of the night, so that sucks, but, oh well. Just going to deal with it. <laughs> and we got those free Sizz shots from turning in the other quest, so... Right, there's like something on my TV that make that looks like oh god, jeez, crap out of me over here. Uh, and it looks like I don't know, it's like a crumb or something. But every time I see it, I think it's like a torch in the distance, like that over there. And I was like, whoa, what am I looking at here? Yeah, yesterday I came in here looking for that cave that I found. That weird cave that had, like, all the supplies and mithril and metals and stuff in it. And, like, I was out here with cannons going inside the walls. I just couldn't find that thing. So, but I understand that caves are, like, randomly generated in this game. So whatever I found that day is probably randomly generated. Oh, sounds like you're still alive. Jeez. Did somebody get this big walking carpet out of my way? No, you don't. Alright, Mr. Icicles, where are you going? Go ahead, go ahead, attack. There, and there, whoopsie. Pretty soon, once we get magical weapons, then we won't need to use these ice fire missiles anymore. Just kill them with hammers, you know? It's a lot easier to do it that way. Okay, so that's... Oh, hey, that's a snow cone. You can actually eat those if you get hungry. It's kind of handy. I mean, who doesn't love a good snow cone, after all? Just because I'm an RPG protagonist doesn't mean I don't like the finer things in life. I tell you, they just, they just don't stop coming and they don't stop coming. So that's eight. That's probably enough. But you know what? With me, never, nothing's ever enough. I'm gonna go for ten. Can't see no more ghosts anymore. I mean, as long as I have more missiles on me, I figure why not. Yeah. So 
any of these. Okay, that's probably good. Let's go home. 